Hey, Miles here, Tactical Hive, and today I wanted to cover a very simple topic, and that's trigger finger placement. Now, you may have heard, um, if you've taken classes, that um, trigger finger placement can be, you know, when maybe at the tip of your finger, middle of the finger, uh, at the first uh, kind of bend of your uh, trigger finger. So a lot of different uh, takes on it. But what if I told you that it doesn't, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter that much if you focus on the principles behind the techniques rather than the technique itself. What do I mean by that? So if you focus on uh, the principle of moving your trigger finger straight to the rear, moving that trigger straight to the rear, it doesn't really matter how you grip or, or how you place your trigger finger on the trigger because you're following that principle of straight to the rear. Now, when it comes to trigger control, there are more than one principle, um, but that one is the biggest one, straight to the rear. So if you, and I'm clear and safe right here, if you just had the tip of your finger on the trigger, but you follow the principle of straight to the rear, you're still gonna get a good shot. If you have it, I'm gonna use a gross exaggeration here. Let's say if I had this, this finger all the way through, but I go straight to the rear, you still should have a good shot. Everything, assuming everything is still the same, you have a good grip, all of that, good stance, all of that, and your sights are aligned. So the, the notion that you have to have a certain area of your finger there is, is correct, but also not complete. The more important thing is you're following the principle straight to the rear. Now, why do I also say that uh, it can matter? Because your finger trigger placement, depending on the size of your gun, the, the length of your fingers, that there, there might be a certain, t a certain trigger finger placement that might be easier for you to make you uh, pull that trigger straight to the rear. So it does matter, but not as much as one might think if you are following the principle of straight to the rear. And so I'm gonna actually demonstrate I'm going to be shooting the, the, the number five, so it's a really small target. Um, and I'm going to do it with all different kinds of uh, positioning in the trigger finger placement. I'll put it at the very tip, um, kind of in the middle, and then I'll, I'll really grossly exaggerate, go really deep, even past past the, the first uh, bend. And as long as you're going straight to the rear, you're going to hit your target. Now, one thing to also keep in mind here is that you, if you continue to work a specific trigger finger, finger placement, eventually you're gonna get good at it, no matter what, right? So let's say you start with the tip of your finger, and if you still, if you just remember the process or the, the principle of straight to the rear, you're always going to get a good shot. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate it real quick and just kind of see that, you know, at the end of the day, it's really more about the principles rather than the techniques. Um, and so you'll see it here. All right, so we're gonna go live here. I'm going to show you three different uh, trigger placements. First one will be the, my fingertip. The second one, kind of in the middle of the, the pad here between uh, the middle of my finger and then the first bend. And then the third iteration, I'm going to be, I'm gonna grossly exaggerate. I'm gonna actually, if this is my trigger, I'm gonna go really far through past the first bend of my trigger finger. And as long as you're following the principle of straight to the rear, you'll notice that your shots will be uh, on target. All right, so first one, fingertip here. Okay. So that was the fingertip. This one, I'm gonna be using kind of the middle pad of my uh, fingertip here. Okay. And now I'm gonna grossly exaggerate. You will see right here, I'm gonna go all the way through, literally past, I'm, I'm actually, at the second bend, all right? But I'm just gonna go straight to the rear, okay? See this right here. Okay. And you'll see pretty much all the shots, you know, at four or five yards, um, it's pretty much a one inch group. And it, there was no magic to it, it's because I'm going straight to the rear. But as I mentioned earlier, now certain trigger finger placements might help you in uh, getting straight to the rear. You might have some issues there, but you'll notice also that over time, whichever trigger finger placement you use, if you do follow that principle straight to the rear, you will have your shots on target. Now, this is more of a, this principle-based approach over techniques, and it's uh, one of the one of the things that we've been harping on and Tactical Performance Center really pushes in its courses. Um, they don't really debate about techniques because techniques is really a matter of style. As uh, Louis Torona, one of their lead instructors put it, he actually, when he mentioned this, my eyes opened up because that was perfect. He has a martial arts background, I have a martial arts background, and whenever I think about martial arts, every martial arts is a style which has different techniques. So it relates to shooting as well. I wrote an article about this, which is on our site. I won't go uh, too in depth, but um, I truly believe that shooting is a martial art. There's a lot of similarities to it. And there's a key word there in martial art. It's the art part of it, where art is actually relative to the, uh, the actual viewer. So beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? So in terms of art, 
shooting is a martial art because there's going to be different techniques or styles that you have, right? But if you're remembering the principles behind it, it doesn't matter. Right, which is why, you know, we were talking about friction is friction, grip is grip, leverage is leverage. Now, I just showed you one principle when it comes to trigger control. There's a lot, there's, there's tons of them when it comes to stance, uh, comes to grip, and comes to trigger control. There's more than just straight to the rear. Now, if you follow those principles, then it, the techniques doesn't matter. They don't matter whatsoever. Just as like I showed you here, it doesn't matter if you're following the principles. So if you want to learn more about that, that's what Handgun Mastery Pro is about, guys. Just remember the uh, course is open right now, closing on Monday. Definitely want to get in on it. It's, it's uh, absolutely, I tell you guys, there's nothing like this out there, all right? And uh, among now, I haven't gone to, it's impossible to go every single course, but after 88, and these are well-known names that you guys know, there's nothing else out there like this, guys. So check it out.